bed mites or coop mites are one of those things that are straight out of a horror film. They love to hide in the nooks and crannies of wood. In fact, in the wild, they'll hide in the little cracks in bark on the tree. And when a bird comes to roost, that's when they feast. So big mistake for us to have a fully wood roost with lots of cracks in it. So we're gonna have to take this apart bring it out and uh, we have a meadow roost in mind which we hope will prevent some of the habits that these uh that these red mites have you can see all these cracks in here and like there the mites will be in there during the day and then they'll crawl out during the night while the chickens are roosting and up their legs and they'll eat and then they go back to their cracks and they lay eggs and uh, I mean, it, not seeing any during the day, but you saw in that video that there's definitely a lot <laughs> out at night. It's just, it's so gross, you guys. So first order of business, I think, is going to be to just take this out. Um, sorry chickens are going to bother you while you're trying to lay eggs, but um, I'm going to go get the saw. We're going to take this out. Probably going to burn it today. And... Um, start fresh with a metal roost. It's gonna kind of hang down. It's gonna look like a chandelier. It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so first things first, we've got to take down the roost. Uh, we're gonna take it out there and probably burn it either now or later this year, just because it is a perfect habitat for those red mites. We're gonna interrupt you. I'm sorry, but uh, here we go. Seriously, want to just burn this whole coop down. There's there's plenty of things you can use. Um, we're going to end up using what's called python dust, which is a permethrin dust. After we have taken all this stuff out, after we've taken their the mites' homes and chucked it out there, um, you know we're going to clean this out. We're going to sprinkle it with the python dust everywhere. We probably should like spray all these webs down. They have uh, insecticidal detergents. They have insecticides. If you want to get really, really crazy, um, like you could bomb this whole place. Um, but those mites live in those little cracks. You got to find out how to get in those little cracks. And heat and hot water is a good step, but this, no, 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 no. We've got to start all over. And AJ. It's not touching anything. I'm touching everything. What the heck, AJ? Is that what you eat? <laughs> Mites are not just gross to us, they're also gross to the chickens. So they don't get good sleep. They're actually getting eaten alive. And so a lot of times their egg production will go down their eggs will change. Their shells will not be as hard. Their yolks will be lighter, even though they're eating really healthy food. And they'll look sickly. You know, they won't have feathers because they're dust bathing too much or picking at themselves too much. And so these are late signs, actually, that you have a mite problem. But it may be the first thing that, that kind of tips you off to the fact that actually something's going on. Because a lot of us aren't out in our coops at night observing what's crawling around. So those are some late signs. So if you start seeing those things and you're like, I'm feeding them fine. They got plenty of eggshells. They got plenty of green, good food, but I'm getting these garbage eggs. You might have a mite problem. 
The other thing is you'll start seeing them like laying on the ground, which they're naturally, they want to roost. It's so uncomfortable for them being on that roost that they'll find somewhere else that the mites are not. Okay, this is the last piece. Oh. Mm. I think it's drilled into the side. I don't care. Oh my gosh, what is in there? Okay, it's time for round two. It's the evening. <clears throat> um, cleaned out the coop, washed it down, went to Tractor Supply, got some hardware. It's still like 90 degrees outside. I really don't want to go out there, but we have to get that roost up for the chickens. Everything's for the chickens. going to be the chicken chandelier. Okay, you got the bucket? Yeah. Mm. Got my bucket of junk. Ah. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to us, all the animals. So if you can envision it, I'll fix that up, make it square, but it's gonna hang like a chandelier from the roof in the chicken coop. And uh, I, I'm not sure how many feet I'm gonna put it, like two, maybe two or three feet. So they can hop up there, they could be safe. It's gonna have a chain on each one of the corners. Um, and this should hold all of our chickens weight. Uh, the chickens are out of the fence. All right. So, we'll get to work. We're gonna put some holes in this, put some, we got some little eyelet bolts. Eyelet bolts? I, let's cut the circle. Whatever these things. There we go, that one. It's gonna be evening in, I mean, it's six o'clock, so we gotta get it up by, you know, by the time that they go in there to roost. So we'll see how well they take to it. I'm pretty sure they're just going to hop up there. They're going to enjoy it. But, all right, enough of that. Put on the time lapse. Get to work. So we've got one of these eyelid bolts at each one of the corners. Grayson's putting in the last one here. Okay, what we got there? A snap hook. And how long is that chain? Almost one of me. <laughs> Which is about five feet? Yes. Okay, and so we're gonna put that snap hook? Well, wait, no. It's more than one of me, by an inch. It's a little bit more. So put that snack hook, snack hook. Snack hook. Snap hook in the eyelet. Can you guys see this coming together here? Okay. Another one here. And then now we gotta put the hardware 
up on the beams on the ceiling and then we'll hang it up and we'll see if it works. It works. Ta da! Hallelujah. Right on. Hallelujah. Look at that one corner up. Three get the rest so. of this. Get the rest of this done. <laughs> Check it out. The chicken chandelier is up. What'd you guys think? Really, we're gonna have to see if they jump up here tonight or not. We're gonna have to kind of keep track of them. It might take them a day or two a week to get used to it. This is a frame to a kennel that we're gonna throw away anyway. I thought, hey, like we should use it uh, for something like this. This is much easier to clean. Those mites are not gonna feel comfortable hanging out on this. Um, and there's plenty of space. It's also central to the coop, and so I'm hoping that it'll be a lot more easier to clean underneath to grab the manure and compost to use it for the garden. The other cool thing we did here is we put these here. So if we have to do a deep clean, we can just unhook it like that. It's not gonna be a, well, maybe if I can, can you help me one-handed? Okay guys, we're gonna update you, see how they do. Um, it's dusk right now, so they're gonna start making their way in here. So we're gonna start picking up the eggs. Next thing is we do have to work on uh, actual places for the chickens to lay their eggs. They don't use their hang gear. It's a rollout egg laying thing that we got a few years ago. Um, and so I think we're just gonna get some kind of boxes up here in the corners, um, up off the ground so that they can lay their eggs and we can keep them clean. So thanks guys for following us along. Make sure you like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have a new video. Okay, turkey. See you guys next time.